everyone. So in this quick video, I just wanted to talk about the difference between free themes and premium themes or paid themes, whatever one you want to refer to it as. And there's some really good things that come from free themes. And I'm just going to go over some of them. And there's also some drawbacks that make the premium themes a little bit better as well. And I want to just cover my kind of theory on how to use free made themes and then also why I would eventually go with a premium theme. So if we just go in here in the dashboard, you can see if you go to appearance and then themes within your WordPress dashboard, you can see there's a variety of themes here and these are all free ones. And if you wanted to, you could search by the popular ones. That's probably the best way to go about it. And if we were just to scroll down through some of these popular ones, you're going to see ones like Sydney and um, there's also other ones down here. Let's just look at uh, Zerif Light, also a very popular one. And there's there's so many on here that are very popular. And these ones can be used for free to get started. But ones like this one, Sydney and Zerif Light, the way that they make money is they basically have you install this free theme here. And then they have upstells like Zerif Light. When you see Light, that means this is not the premium version. And then they'll get you used to using this theme. And eventually they'll try to get you to purchase over time if you want to unlock more features you basically will have to purchase it and upgrade to a different theme or a more uh, full featured Zerif theme in that case or a more full featured Sydney theme in this case as well and they are great because I would say if I was going to first start with WordPress I would recommend to just basically start with maybe like the Sydney theme here or Zerif flight or something like this one of these popular ones here for free and get used to WordPress and how it works. Get used to navigating around the dashboard and how to set up pages and things like that. And then once you're feeling a little more comfortable and you realize like this is something I want to do, this is something I feel comfortable with, then I would consider moving into a premium theme. I wouldn't just jump right into a premium theme. In my case, I think it's better to kind of get used to it with a free theme and make sure you like it before you spend the money on a free theme or a free theme club membership for that matter. And if we wanted to look at some of the premium themes that you could go with, I personally use Divi right now for elegant themes. If you wanted to, I'm gonna have a link below in the description for this page, but you can see that there's various themes here. The two most popular are Divi, and that's the one I actually use on my own website. And I've created many different websites for other people using that. And then there's Extra, which is more of a blog style one as well. And there's a lot more themes below or included here, I guess, in the rest of the gallery. If we went to maybe page two, we can see more. And it says there's 88 themes in total here. So you can see there's a wide variety of different themes included. And that comes with a membership. And I'm actually going to have a 10% discount to the membership below in the description if you want to use my link. And next... I'll just show you another one that has premium themes as well, and that's Themify, and I like them as well. I'll have a link to them below in the description, and you can get all themes for $79, but I think that's for one year. To upgrade for a lifetime membership would be more, and you can um, look at that for yourself. They also have sales going on a lot, so it's great to take advantage of some of their sales. And this has a drag and drop builder, and this Divi one back here has its own drag and drop builder as well that comes with it and it's probably I think the easiest one to use in my personal opinion but then there's also free ones like Elementor which is awesome Elementor has a free and a paid version with more features just as these free themes do with the free version and then the upgraded version with more features so it's the same kind of concept with Elementor with Divi once you purchase it you unlock all the features and I think it's got various different plans that you can choose from. So if we go over, there's another one. It's called themeforest.net, which I'll also link to down in the description below. If you click on WordPress here, you can look at all different styles of WordPress websites. And then you can actually click on them to see what they would look like. So let's just click this first one that came up here. It's a one page. And if we go on to the actual page here, we can look at a live preview of what it would look like. And you can see once it loads that it's going to look a little bit different, have better features to it than a free theme would. We can just scroll down and see that it looks very basically modern and well put together. 
It's a nice looking theme. It has some flexibility, some nice movement between the icons and text and everything, number counters here. All this kind of stuff you can actually do with Elegant Themes Divi theme, which I like. That's the one I use. And I think that it's really beneficial to be able to basically master a theme. And you're not going to get a theme like this for a free theme. It's just not going to happen. The best way to go about it, I think, is again to learn with a free theme and then work your way into mastering, just mastering one or two specific themes. Because it's better to really be good at one or two themes that have a lot of flexibility. For example, like the Divi theme that you can create so many different designs with. And if you can master Divi, then it's going to be way more beneficial than just having a, a basic theme uh, that's free. And then you upgrade to the other one with more customizations, abilities, and things like that. Well, each time you want to do that, you're probably going to have to pay the price, which I don't know, it's like 50 bucks probably for an upgrade of a free theme. I think it's better to just pay like $89 or something like that, whatever it might be for Divi or for uh, Themeify and really getting used to it. And if you do one project, you can pay for a lifetime membership. It would pay for itself if you do one project for a client or someone else. So that'd be my suggestion with that. Another thing I just quickly wanted to point out over here with these free ones is they come with a lot less support and a lot less updates. So basically what I mean by that is you need to have your theme being updated for security reasons to the newest version of WordPress. It needs to be compatible. All of these kind of things come into play with these free themes. And if they're not one of the most popular ones, it's unlikely that someone who doesn't have a popular theme is going to keep updating it for years and years and years. Eventually, they're just going to stop because it's probably not making them any money and they're not really benefiting from it. So you've got to remember that. The key part with these ones here, they come with support. And you can even order extended support here on Theme Forest. You're going to have support through Themeify's contact page here if you need support. And then same goes for Elegant Themes. They have a whole support form and there's such a wide base of knowledge with Elegant Themes, Divi Theme, and all these other themes that the premium theme support, when you run into an issue, it's going to be a lot easier to get resolved with this, one of these premium ones, than a free one. And that difference right there of the support could probably save you the amount that you're actually paying for it. If you need to go to have support done or some customizations done or something like this, you need help with it, you're far more likely to get that help through a premium theme. So I again would say just get used to it. Maybe spend like a day or two with a free theme and just getting used to how WordPress works and kind of feeling out the whole dashboard area and then upgrade to a premium theme. And I would research them, see which ones are the best. Again, I really recommend Elegant Themes for Divi Theme, and I really like some of the Theme 5 themes. And there's other ones that are good as well. It's not just these. Theme Force are such a wide variety of different themes as well that are really good. So I would definitely consider doing this if you're looking to get into WordPress and you're just starting out. And I really hope that this video was beneficial for you if you're just starting out. Thanks for viewing, everyone. I hope that you subscribe to the channel for more WordPress-related videos.